Hey guys, welcome to the Launch Hour Review. Today I'm going to try this Severina um, homemade um, pasta. This one is Serving, um, serving Pasta Company. Severino Pasta Company. Sorry, I cannot read today. Um, this is the lasagna with meat sauce. It's beef raised without antibiotics, which is good. It's 10 ounces or one pound, two ounces, 510 grams. I think that's what it says. It's really tiny. Keep refrigerated or frozen. This is frozen. We bought it frozen. We've just kept it frozen. We bought this at Whole Foods. It was eight dollars and ninety nine cents, but it's really a it's really a two serving meal probably, or even a three maybe. Let's see, two point two five servings in the package. Three hundred fifty calories per serving, so one cup, two hundred twenty seven grams. And there's the other information. I don't know if you can see that or not, but Tammy, I have a picture if you if you can't read that. So the directions are: you can do it in a conventional oven if you'd like. There's the directions for the oven. Of course, we're going to do the microwave. So microwave, we're going to uh, da, 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 remove lid from tray, loosely cover a uh, tray with plastic wrap, cut slits in the plastic wrap and place in the microwave. Um, if fresh, if you're if it's not frozen, um, it's seven to eight minutes. If frozen, heat on high for 10 to 12 minutes. After cooking, let stand in the microwave for three minutes. Always heat products to 100, internal temperature 165. So I'm going to do, I'll do like 11 minutes. Um, Let's see, I didn't get a pair of scissors out. Of course not. So it's got a little ring around the top. Just like that. So we're gonna take that off, take that off. We don't we don't need that. So I'm gonna put plastic wrap over this, cut some holes in it, and get it in the microwave, and I'll be back when it comes out. All right, so here it is out of the microwave, and uh, the plastic, it's funny, the plastic, you know, I cut a couple of slits in there, they kind of like shrunk up and exposed a big hole in the middle. It wasn't any big deal, it's not like it got plastic on the food, but yeah, it did uh, It did shrink up. So there's the, what looks like on the inside, there looks like some sauce and some pasta looks pretty decent. So I'm probably going to take this and like cut it in half um, and get it on a plate. We'll, we'll see. I'll see what I'm going to do with it, but anyway. You won't care one way or the other. So I'm going to take it over the table and give it a try. All right, so I haven't let it sit. I cut it, put it on a plate, that's it. Um, I did let it sit in the microwave for the three minutes, like they said. So uh, it has set and kind of, even out it's cooking, finished cooking, whatever. So you get quite a bit of pasta, um, good layer of cheese on there, quite a bit of sauce. Um, it does have meat in it. Yeah, the, the meat sauce looks good. Hmm. Good and hot. Heat hot, not spicy hot. I love the flavor of that cheese. It's got that, uh, you know, lasagna is usually made with ricotta cheese. And this has that flavor, that kind of ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese kind of flavor. I don't really get the meat sauce flavor really strongly. I get more just a tomato sauce with the, with the ricotta cheese. I do like that though. I wish I had a little more seasoning in the sauce. I'm gonna try just the sauce. It has a good oniony tomato flavor. I do get the meat sauce flavor a little bit. It's a little watery, and maybe it wouldn't be that way if you put it in the oven or if I maybe a microwave a little longer, although I don't want to, I wouldn't have wanted a microwave any longer because the top of the cheese was right there at the point where it was going to start getting hard and crunchy on top, which you wouldn't want on mozzarella, I mean on uh, lasagna. Um, so I couldn't have done that, but it is a little watery, but the flavors are okay. It's not as seasoned as, as, I, would, as I, would, I would like for it to be, but it has a good flavor. I'm going to give this I'm gonna give it a four out of five. It's not the best lasagna. I've actually had other frozen lasagna meals that were better that I liked, but this one is good. It's worth trying out. Like I said, this one is one that really it's two servings, so you're either gonna take it to work. Well, I mean, you could eat the whole thing, um, but for eight ninety nine, you probably want to split it in half. Um, you can either heat it up the night before, cut it in half, and then or thaw it out, cut it in half, and then microwave half at a time. That's probably what I would do if I were to do it again. Instead of leaving it frozen, I would just thaw it out in the refrigerator first, uh, then take that in a container of some kind to work, um, half of it. Or you could um, you could take it to work and then save the other half for the next day to, to reheat. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna reheat, that, that's the problem. So I'm still giving it four out of five, I think it's good. Hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.